Welcome back to Quick Statics Answers. Today's question is, determine the components of pin C. First, we'll draw the free body diagram for the whole structure. E is a pin, so there will be X and Y components, while at A, there is a roller, so there will only be an X component. Then we'll take the moment about point E. Since the components of point E pass through point E, they are not included in the calculation. This is the resulting equation, which after isolating for FAX results in 1,250 newtons. Next, we'll draw the free body diagram for member DF. D and B are pins, so they will both have X and Y component reactions. Then we'll need to find the distance between point D and B. We can solve for this using the rule of similar triangles by setting the base and height of the whole structure equal to the base and height of the triangle formed by points D, B, and C. This results in the following equation, which after isolating for the height results in 1.5 meters. Now we can take the moment about point D. The reaction components at D and the Y component of B pass through point D, so they are not included in the calculations. We get the following equation, which after isolating for FBX results in 600 newtons. Next, we'll draw the free body diagram for member AC. We'll have the same horizontal reaction at point A, then we can draw the reaction forces at point B. Remember to reverse the directions of the reaction forces at point B as compared to the way they were set up in the previous diagram, since we are now looking at a different member. Then we can draw the X and Y component reaction forces at pin C. It is important to note that the 600 Newton force applied at pin C is not included in this free body diagram. This is because it is applied directly on the pin, not the member, and the free body diagram only includes forces applied to the member of interest. Then we can take the sum of horizontal forces and solve for FCX, which results in 650 newtons. Then we'll take the moment about point B. All forces except FCY pass through point B, so they are all excluded. This results in the following equation which gives that FCY equals zero. And there you have it. Quick statics answers.